we can be waiting and seeking. Mm -hmm. We can be skeptical and confident. We can be trembling and trusting. We can be disappointed and hopeful. We can acknowledge our feelings and speak and live the truth of who God is at the very same time. And the reason that I feel like this is the best option, and I really feel like scripture points us in this direction, which I'll get to in just a second, is because it feels like this is the only option that's like livable long time over a long period of time. Yeah. You know, like when you're walking the road of just the Christian life and also walking, you know, a season of praying for something for a long time and you feel like you haven't really gotten any relief. I have found the only way to like remain authentic and authentically engage with God, like authentic with myself and my feelings and continuing to engage with the Lord is this place, like holding both at the same time, almost having like yes. both of our hands open. I'm like in my right hand, I'm holding all of my feelings and I'm not judging myself for the way that I feel them. I'm not polishing them. I'm not um, putting my like biblical perspective on them yet. I'm not doing that. I'm just acknowledging like, yeah. this is how I feel. Yeah. And it's really not pretty. <laughs> um, probably not something that I would ever like share, you know. And then in the other hand, in my left hand, I'm holding everything I know to be true about who God is. Like you were talking about Ashley, like praying to the ability that I know God is able because I've walked with him long enough to know also that he could change this, you know, and it's it's maddening to feel like he's not right now. But also it hasn't shaken my faith that he could, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's important um, to acknowledge. And as I was really thinking about this conversation of just grief and disappointment, I found myself in the book of Lamentations. And if you don't know anything about the book of Lamentations, I'm going to give you a little context. So put your Bible study hat on for a second. But Lamentations is a book in the Old Testament. It's written by the prophet Jeremiah, and it consists of poems or songs that are mourning the conquest of Jerusalem and the kingdom of Judah. So there's no doubt that this book is consisted of words of grief and disappointment. And these people are mourning. Like I remember I was going through a really hard season in college and I found myself in the book of Lamentations and had no idea what the historical context was, but I just felt seen. Mm -hmm. I think the same way that we uh, feel like when we sometimes read the Psalms where it's kind of chaotic because <laughs> they're talking about um, their feelings and then they're like, but you are my God and my refuge mm -hmm. and my strength. But that's what I think they're doing is they're allowing yes. space for both mm -hmm. their feelings and the facts of who God is to coexist at the exact same time.